He was a criminal. He was involved in gambling and sold drugs. He also managed prostitutes. Then he became an armed robber and had his own organization. He dominated the organization and roamed the back streets of the city by showing off that he could kill anyone and was ready to die at any time. But eventually, he was arrested for stealing and selling expensive watches. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison. He was only 21 years old then. He began to study in prison. He explored religion, and when he read, he checked every sentence and concept in pencil and dictionary. He read the book carefully from beginning to end. Instead of stopping there, he transcribed the book he had read from the front to the end. Words that he had never heard or seen before were all arranged in his head. He read a book when he was given any time from then until he was released from prison. He read in his own bed if he didn't read in the library. He read history, sociology, religion, classics, and the philosophy of Kant and Spinoza. Later, a reporter asked him. What school are you from? He answered the question. My alma mater was books, a good library. I could spend the rest of my life reading, just satisfying my curiosity. This is the story of Malcolm X, an American black human rights activist. Writer Robert Greene categorizes the types of time that exist in a person's life as dead time and living time. Dead time refers to the time a person spends passively waiting for something. And living time refers to the time spent learning, acting, and trying to utilize even a minute and a second. Malcolm X spent seven years in prison living time. That's how he became a great human rights activist in the future. Reading is the easiest and most effective way to spend living time in the world. So don't spend your free time on dead time and read a lot of books.